My name is Kana. I met a guy named Makoto at work and we ended up getting married. It was my first marriage, but it was Makoto's second time. And he had a daughter named Ririka. She's a cheerful and energetic eighth grader. You're such a good cook, Kana. Yeah, this stew is awesome. Thank you, guys. I made some pudding for dessert, too. Nice! Makoto had me quit my job, so I had plenty of time to practice for them. Ririka and I got along right away. We were having such a great new life together. But that didn't last for long. For some reason, the moment I got pregnant, they both changed drastically. Makoto started coming home late, and when I would ask him about it, he would get mad and beat me. Ririka became extremely short-tempered and foul-mouthed. Why did you make spaghetti? I was feeling like stew today! Huh? You told me you wanted spaghetti this morning, though. I feel like stew. Screw this! Remake dinner! <laughs> I thought that maybe I did something wrong but I found out soon enough the reason for their behavior. All right, the baby's far along enough now. Abortion's off the table, so we've got her now. Nice, we got us a slave. Finally, I'm free from housework. I've been waiting for this for so long. She's a good cook and she's obedient, so this is gonna be easy. Just as I promised you, the perfect slave. Her parents are already dead and you successfully made her quit her job too. So now she's got nowhere to run. They just wanted a maid. I overheard you guys last night. You only think of me as a maid, right? What are you talking about? You must have been dreaming or something. I married you because I love you, Kana. But you're so cold to me recently. And Ririka, she's so rebellious and even throws the food at me sometimes. What's with the sudden change? You just weren't what we thought you were, that's all. You were a good cook, so I thought you would be good at housework, too. But your food wasn't all that great, and you don't know how to discipline Ririka. But I I'm trying my best. I, I can't do the housework like before right now because I'm pregnant and... Hey, were you just talking shit about me? I heard you! You know what? You're not the only one in the world that's pregnant. What a dumb reason to slack off on housework. Just admit it. You're a horrible mother. If you want my approval, just work harder. Dad pays for you, right? Exactly. It's the least you can do. From that day on, they didn't even hold back anymore. It's true that abortion wasn't an option anymore. Even if it was, I would never do that to this new life I was gifted. I did consider finding a job and divorcing Makoto, but I couldn't find anyone that would hire a pregnant person. So I just took the bullying like that until my final month of pregnancy. Uh, I think I'm going into labor. Please, can you take me to the hospital? Can't you tell? I'm watching TV right now. Take yourself to the hospital. I had no choice, so I called a cab and went to the hospital alone. The doctors and nurses supported me, and I gave birth to a healthy girl. I contacted my husband about the successful delivery, but he never showed up. The only thing I received was a text message from Ririka. Hurry up and come home and clean the house and do the laundry and dishes! They really do only see me as a maid. I'm hungry! You don't belong here if you can't even cook, right? You're gonna make me something? Or do you want my dad to leave you? Hold on, just a minute. I'm almost done breastfeeding. Oh, you're so slow! That's why Dad's always with Maki and never comes home. Huh? Maki? Who's that? Uh-oh, I slipped. Uh, forget you ever heard that, okay? Ririka was grinning at me, and it hit me. Makoto started coming home late around the time that I got pregnant, and he had to spend the night at the office sometimes, but he was cheating on me the whole time. Hey, you're cheating on me, aren't you? Is that where you were today? Ugh, shut up! Who cares? Where's my food? It better be ready. Oh, you are cheating! You're horrible! What are you gonna do about it? You gonna divorce me? I have the papers right here if you wanna just sign it. I'm prepared to divorce you if you ever become disobedient. Come on, go ahead. Just sign it. Oh, uh -huh, you're so harsh, Dad. <laughs> You're gonna divorce me? Then what? You're gonna take our baby and live in a cardboard box somewhere? If that's not what you want, just shut your mouth and do as I say. They would always use divorce as leverage to bully me. They knew that I was unemployed and I was still recovering after giving birth, so I couldn't work right away. Hey, Dad, this Sharpie doesn't work. Do you have a new one? It worked yesterday. Here. Test it out here. Where? Oh, right. Hey, what? Stop! She lifted my shirt while I was feeding my baby and wrote incompetent on my back. 
What did I do to deserve this? I've had enough. My life is so miserable. I might as well end it. The bullying from Makoto and Ririka. The exhaustion of caring for the baby. And my daughter never stopped crying as if she was expressing my bottled up emotions for me. It was all too much. I walked over to the balcony. I can jump off and end all this right now. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Stop, young lady! Don't do it! Uh, someone stop her! Is she trying to take the baby with her? If there's a problem, we're here for you. Just step back from the balcony right now! Calm down! I heard yelling from the ground, and came to. I looked down and saw that the neighbors who were talking on the street shouting at me from below. Oh no, not everyone in the world is out to get me? Shortly after, the police rushed over with the neighbors. Someone must have called it in. Open up, ma'am! Are you okay in there? What's going on? Um, my husband and his daughter are abusing me. What's this? The cops? Huh? What did you do, Kana? Right as I was trying to explain things to the cops, Makoto and Ririka came home. They heard from my neighbors that I was about to jump from the balcony and glared over at me. They had a look in their eyes like, you better not say anything stupid. Officer, please help. I'm being abused by these two. You have to help me, please. Officer, it seems like my wife is a little exhausted. The baby won't stop crying at night, and she's not getting enough sleep recently. Yeah, what do they call it again? Postpartum depression, right? We try to help out, but she gets mad and tells us not to touch the baby, so there isn't much we can do for her. Yeah, we've been having a hard time trying to help out. Lies. They're lying. Look at this, officer. Look what they wrote on my back with a sharpie. When I pulled up my shirt and showed them the bruises and the insults that were written on my back, the neighbors and the police officer looked furious. After that, the police took me and my daughter in, and I was able to break free from Makoto. They introduced me to a support facility, and I stayed there for a while. Screw you! Divorce? And you're trying to charge me alimony? Yeah, right! If you aren't willing to settle, I'll report you to the police. It'll harm your career, but if that's how you want to do this, fine. Are you threatening me? You know what that'll do to my position at work? Are you stupid? I know exactly what'll happen. If that's not what you want, then pay up. You can pay for child support and split payments, but you better not miss a single payment. The contract will be that if you fail to pay, I'll have the right to seize your salary. Anyways, I'll leave the rest up to the lawyers. The lawyers, you say? You can't afford lawyers! Stop bluffing! Oh, don't worry. There's a support system for people like me, so I can hire a lawyer. You just worry about yourself. The lawyer helped me to receive full payment of the alimony and complete the contract for the monthly child support payments. Honestly, I would have liked to report him to the police and send him to jail. But if I did that, Makoto would have lost his job and his ability to pay child support. I chose what was best for my daughter's future. But Makoto and Ririka did end up getting punished socially. The neighbors who were there that day told others about what they witnessed, and the rumors spread like wildfire. Ririka was mocked at school as the devilish father and daughter, and ended up shutting herself in. And after I charged Makoto's affair partner for alimony, the fiancé of his partner ended up charging him as well. I hear they're up to their neck in debt now. This is all your fault, Dad! Why did you have to marry that woman? You were the one that said you could easily control her! Don't put this on me! Just go back to school! It seems like they're always fighting now. One of the neighbors texted me and told me all about it. I did run into them in town one day. Makoto seemed worn out, and Ririka seemed overweight with bad skin, probably from being a shut-in for so long. They were barely recognizable. When I was job hunting, I ran into a friend. I have an extra room, come stay with me! She let me borrow a room in her house, so I room share and am trying my best to raise my daughter. My friend worked from home, so she watched my daughter for me as well, so I was able to job hunt and land a job. I've been able to find a nursing school for my daughter, so I plan to do everything I can for my daughter and hopefully repay my friend someday. 